guys so welcome to soup code with another cup of code um, so on this one we'll be looking at chart.js in angular and let's see how we can get that uh, started so the first thing that we want to do um, when I install chart.js uh, so that's npm install chart.js and if we go to the code and we want to basically paste that and I already have it uh, on my project, so if you just do that, you'll see that it's going to tell me that, oh, you already have this, and I can just continue. So, I'll run package, and I'll set to, and that's it. So, that's what you do, and then after that, um, course, where I want to be at this point is... Um, okay, now I will close this terminal and then I'll open a new one so that it gives me a home directory from this project, no else. Right, so now I'm in this project and I want to cd source app. Let's go there. Right, now we're in source app and in the app, I want to create a directory called common because uh, you want to have your chat service as like a global service that will give you your charts on the fly. Like if you're working on an enterprise um, uh, application, then you would want to easily um, create charts on the fly, which is what we are trying to achieve here. So then the next thing will be we want to generate a, a service and we will call that service just call it chart and then it will suffix that with uh, chart service. <clears throat> so we want it to be in the common. Now that we have that service, uh, let's go there, have a look at it. Boom, now we have a service. And then this is where we're going to add functionality uh, in like scaffolding charts for us on the fly, which is super amazing. Uh, okay, we're done with this one. So the chart functions, I already have these. So I'm just gonna take the single chart function, which only creates like, um, if it's a line chart, then it's going to be one chart. And then if it's a bar, it's gonna be one bar. And the likes, if you change uh, to like a pie or donut, and it's gonna be just the one. That's it, and uh, we're gonna get a double one, which has uh, two data sets, and that's basically the difference between the single and the double. So I'm gonna have these, and you can create these functions in the service, and the way that you want to um, have them in your in your application, and you will see that the single uh, single chart will have basically one object in the data set and then the double line will have two objects in the data set and in the same way if you want to have more like let's say uh, triple, uh, quadruple and all those then you just add the number of objects in the data set and that's, that should be it and you also um, can define like more options in, in the way that you want to see your chart look so now that this is there and it's global, makes our life easy. And we're gonna pass in the graph title, we're gonna pass in the key and labels and we're gonna give it the data and the context uh, of the canvas that we'll be displaying it on, on the HTML, then the chat type to be line, um, donut to be bar. And you're gonna see this now in a few seconds. So now that we have our charts in place um, I just want to put these imports so that uh, chart uh, the chart service is able to register anything and everything that it's going to need so this will be just like that and now we have a chart service and it's, it calls the service and it's available in our module and uh, anywhere that you would need it, like on your project or in other modules, you just pull it through and you should be fine uh, using it. And then 
Now in our HTML component, uh, so if you see, just go to the HTML, you would want to have your canvas, uh, which is going to look like this. I just had the header there, and then I'm going to have a line chart, a bar chart, and a donut chart, and we're gonna see this in action. I probably don't need this class. Let me just get rid of that, um, but yeah. You can style that in the way that you want. I am not styling anything, so we're just gonna see it on the fly. <clears throat> and then once you have your HTML now, it's all about the component. And the most important thing here to start with is for us to use our chat service or to import our chat service so that we have it available. So now that that is there, one other thing that I want, I want to implement on init and then I want to say ng on init and I will call the service functions in on our ng on init, right. So now calling charts in our component, I will just pass in just creating these variables. Let's just create those. So we have a label list, the car, food, uh, chair table could be anything could be employee employee um, performance employee uh, stats or something like that but it can literally be anything and sim I'm hard coding this simply because it's like a short startup on how to like implement charts in your project but of course you can get this uh, from your um, API on the back end call uh, your service to feed you all this data and then once you have it there ready available Then you can pass it to the chart and then it will scaffold the chart as you want and now what we are left with is one particular thing which is calling our Chart service, which is what we are going to do at this level on our on init and then I might need to fix um, okay, let me just do this quickly. So it will fix that and it will fix, uh, it will fix that. And here I don't want to pass null because if you look at the function, I pass in the graph name, um, I pass in the key and the labels. So I don't want to pass null, I want to pass uh, label list. And also this, I need to, uh, no, I also need to fix that. And okay, so here, let me just fix those because the editors are different. That can cause such issues. And let's do that. Uh, uh, and let's just fix that. Right, so now let me just address these quickly. And this one as well, right. <clears throat> All right, so uh, this chat.single is chat name, uh, then the chat key, I'm still, I'm using the chat name as a chat key, but it could be uh, literally just, let me just put it this way, key, and then this will be, uh, the labels and then this will be the data then what type of chart do I want it to be it's going to be that and uh, the double the only difference I'm passing the data and I'm passing the secondary data uh, so I'm giving the two data sets and then it's going to display those accordingly and then because we already have this now it makes our life easy to build so let's build this guy and see this in action <coughs> So even on the uh, data types, if uh, you're dealing with like maybe let's say employees, you can have like an employee um, interface and then it's going to be that. And um, let's say maybe employee attendance here, uh, which then going to uh, compare employees against employee, maybe attendance and whatnot based on what you are going to receive from your backend service. And that will then uh, be filtered, that will then be displayed on your chart. And the, the beauty about this 
you only have one chart service anyway where you want to have a chart you just call that function if you want a single chart you just call that function if you want a double chart or custom charts that you have and what I love because it's a central place for the charts you can come in here customize it the way that you want it the colors the lay the the, the look and feel that you want for your uh, data display so that's also amazing at one point uh, that you can go to to handle that and anything that you touch on your service then will given be interpreted uh, all across uh, your chat implementations you just call it and it's there and let's do <coughs> ng serve and open that once you're done so let's see this in action basically we are done that's it you have your chat service uh, in place and then you have your HTML available and then in your component you just give it the, uh, the ID which is the context that it's going to be uh, looking into and then uh, it will pass in your chart into that so we will see two charts um, a line chart and a bar chart let's see this all right boom right now we have our charts now we have our charts so we have a line chart and a bar chart and because it has the two data sets you can see that oh this is what's happening here 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 and you can pass these more descriptive uh, of course you can uh, play around with it and make sure that you um, have the correct data for your chart and then let's just do this now look at the magic I just copy this guy paste it there and let me see now when I'm passing the donut and I'm just gonna take this guy and I will just say donut chart donut save this let's go back see this in action and reload boom now we have three charts just like that you have a chart and that's it that's it and uh, thank you guys for watching and i hope that you like and you subscribe if you still want more of these type of um easy ways around angular please do uh give me a shout in the comments and thank you for watching cheers